was Gajija Rorick's miracle. It's like a new one out on Sprint. Where are you, Baptiste? Uh, today we're here, we're gathered here this morning because uh, the three of us have been asked to deliver a letter to the Tynanega Police Service, uh, a statement from the Gundage Cannabis Association. Um, here's a copy of the letter and we're on our way to deliver it to the Tynanega Police Service. And who are the, um, the signatories to this letter? Um, it would be all the cannabis shops in the community. And why did they come together to, to make this letter? Um, I believe they came together to to inform the police station that they're they're they are working on a process to come together and work together and and have this have this be um, um, a little more organized, I guess, and and having somebody to be accountable to for them that they're looking for. So um, okay. today we're going to make the first step and letting them know that there's going to be a process that started to organize and, and have some, somebody be accountable for what's going on in the community. Just to elaborate on, on what was said, so by them coming to the people to give them direction is kind of more our traditional ways of democracy. The Gandage Cannabis Association has contacted the, uh, the traditional people of the community and have asked the traditional people of the community to, to um, to listen, to listen to what's going on, and to help to um, help them to understand what rights are and what what the rights aren't here, and what can be done and what can't be done. So um, right now, there's a meeting tomorrow at Donald's House at five o'clock p.m. and it's open for anybody who wants to come and, and listen. And we're all here to learn and listen and see what we can make positive. You guys uh, came back from your mission. How did it go? Oh uh, well, we showed up at the, at the police station, and Ron wasn't in, and Jan wasn't at the desk. But we found Simon, and we uh, we just delivered hand delivered the letter to Simon and asked him if he would present it to the rest of the people in the police station, and that was it. So we'll see what happens. And what's the next step from here? Uh, well, we're gonna have the meeting tomorrow night, and from there we'll know. Okay. Of course, they're more than welcome. <laughs> and everybody's more than welcome to come to the meeting tomorrow. So from yesterday to today, uh, Ron and the uh, Tynanaga police did stick to their word. They put rumor out last week that they'd come around to each one of the store owners and give them an ultimatum on whether or not they were going to stay open or be criminally charged. After his first discussion yesterday morning with five store owners, uh, seems like the turn of events went back to community the way it's supposed to go. Uh, there's good discussion being brought up around our community and there should be a decision of the people as to our industry and our livelihoods. So we've there's put there. our faith in the people that we're going to come be with the best decision. decision. Made by the people. Made by the people. Yep. Alrighty. Thank you.